Hey, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be going over the best starting traits for Project Zomboid, or PZ as the fans call it, while in single player. Hey guys, I'm Obi. And I'm Sobi. If you're new to Project Zomboid, then you might be feeling a little overwhelmed with the options that the game gives you to customize your character. You might be asking yourself, what do I need to start the game? And what's going to give me the best chance to survive? Well, after playing the game for a good while, we have you covered. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting the like button and subscribing to stay up to date with all the content we have coming to the channel regarding Project Zomboid and other survival games. But with that out of the way, let's jump into it. So there are many ways to play the game, and we really recommend that in order to get the most fun out of the game, you play the game your way. But if you're having trouble getting started, then you might want to follow us until you feel more comfortable with PZ. So again, in this video, we're going to be focusing on traits and not really occupations. So choose the occupation that makes sense to you. Since we are two different gamers, we do have slightly different opinions when it comes to our idea of how to start the game. So we're going to give you five traits each and give you examples of how they could benefit you in each situation. Now, we both can agree that having a base as early as possible is the best route to play. So we're going to be pushing our traits to make that happen. Also, we are going to be only going over positive traits. We do plan to have a negative trait video in the future, so stay tuned. This is going to be the setup for me wanting a long time survival character. And these are the typical traits that you'll see me choosing when starting. So number one, we're going to have Dexterous. This allows you to transfer items in and out of your inventory 50% faster. This can be very helpful when you're in a get in and get out situation and you're looking for your first weapon. An example of this would be thinking that you just spawned into the game and you're looking for a weapon, but you have zombies knocking on the door and one is in the house with you. You scurry around looking for a weapon, but by the time that you find it, the zombie is already bearing down on you. This can be a make or break moment and having that weapon in your hands faster can really save your life. Number two, my next choice is going to be Eagle Eyed. This doesn't sound like much at first, however, it's going to give me a wider field of view, allowing me to see the zombies from a greater distance. Next, I'm going to be taking Fast Learner. Since the game already has a ton of skills and things for you to do, I want to try to learn them as fast as I possibly can. This is going to give me a 130% XP boost for all skills except strength and fitness, which is a bit of a downer. However, I'll take that extra XP where I can. Keen hearing, in my opinion, is an absolute must. My perception radius is going to increase 200%. Also, with this, the zombies coming from behind me are going to be more visible much sooner than without keen hearing. So if you didn't know, you take extra damage from zombies from behind you. So this will actually keep you safer for longer and can even save your life. My last choice is going to be organized. I love this trait now that I understand the way the inventory in this game works. This gives me a 130% increase to all storage containers in the game, meaning I can carry more and store more than someone without this ability. A good way to look at it is you can have the strongest character in the game and still not carry as much as someone without organized. These are my top five on how I like to play. Now let's hear from Obi and see what he has for us. Now for me, when I'm playing on a new map, I like to choose traits that are going to help me get started, but I do plan on dying early on. Now, while that does sound a little backwards, I'll explain what I'm talking about here in a bit. So again, the goal for me when starting is to get a base established early on. So starting out at number one, I'm going to choose Graceful. Graceful allows me to make less noise when moving. Since I'm trying to establish a base, along the way, I really don't want to attract a lot of zombies. Attracting zombies is going to create more of a risk, and by creating less noise, you draw less attention to yourself when moving to your preferred location. That being said, we do plan on having a video covering the best base location sometime soon, so keep that in mind. My next choice is going to be Light Eater. Since I'm just quickly trying to clear a safe area for my base, I really don't want to have to stop often to eat. So having to take in less food is going to help speed up the process. And maybe when I'm done setting up, if I have any extra food left over, that'll be awesome for my next character. Moving on to number three is Brave. Your character can become panicked rather easily, and when this happens, your accuracy, melee damage, and critical damage chance are affected. So I plan on doing a good bit of fighting, and being panicked is not something I want to happen. Next up is going to be Gymnast. This gives you plus one light footed, again, making your trek to your location easier by decreasing the amount of noise you generate when sneaking. And it also adds plus one nimble. Now this skill affects how fast you move while you're in a combat stance. So being able to close the distance to an incoming zombie or quickly move out of harm's way is a plus. And my final trait is going to be Strong. Strong gives you plus four strength. This allows you to have better knockback and will help you when clearing out a larger area filled with lots of zombies. It also increases my carrying capacity, which allows me to pick up more items such as weapons or even things that might help me later on, such as sheets to cover windows once the base is on lockdown. 
Now, the best part about this game is that you're gonna die. And while that feels like a major step back, it can actually be kind of beneficial, especially in the early game. Dying gives you the opportunity to start with a fresh character, with maybe picking some traits that could benefit you based on your current position in the game. Let's say you finally have your base cleared of zombies, so picking up traits that will help you do so can speed up the process. So again, kicking the bucket early on is not really that bad. Eventually though, you might want to figure out a general route to go with, as your character can learn pretty much anything just by doing it or reading. And since eventually the electricity and water will turn off having the best start in base early on can make or break the game so there you have it our top five best traits for starting a single player run if you have any questions we want to answer them also if you've been playing pz for a while and you would like to add anything or give us your favorite traits please feel free to do so down in the comments if you want to come hang out with us while we play project zomboid join us over on our twitch channel where you can chat with us live while we try to survive this unforgiving apocalypse but until next time, this is Obi. This is Obi. Signing out. See you guys next time.